When he started out, you know, he was like everybody else, hop two, three. But he won the first 17 events he entered. And he found out he was pretty good at this. I don't think it's any different to anything else. It's just we wear wigs and funny dresses. <laughs> it was like a Shirley Temple convention, wasn't it? I'm Irish, and, and I, I really didn't know this whole world existed. There'll be just over 6,000 competitors. People take it so seriously, you know, even though there's no money involved, people want that world title. It's like a drug. It is my life. I didn't care she couldn't read or write. I know a lot of people say that's ridiculous, their education is more important, but to me it wasn't. Irish dancing was the most important thing in my life. Oh, these people are insane. You get drawn into it. You buy the dress and you get the wig and you <laughs> go to Ireland. He'd spend seven hours in the living room with the carpets rolled up. It was living and breathing dance for him. She had been dancing on a broken foot. My mum was like, you, you can't dance. And I was like, I can. I can. Watch me. If I nail every beat, then it's just going to be one of the best sets anyone's ever done. If you do it wrong, you have to get it right. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I need to win it soon if I'm going to win it. Don't I? Yeah, <laughs> 14 years we've waited, so... All these children are practicing all year round for six minutes of dancing. There's no room for error now. You have to be foot perfect. I really suck. Should I continue doing this? What would I do if I won't be dancing? When he's on form, I think he's probably unbeatable. Right.